equestrian team member at university. So this is just not a complete packing list, but obviously I have scoliosis and other health problems and I ride with the equestrian team. So I thought I'd kind of walk you through some of the things that I take to uni in case it's useful for anyone else. So let's get started. First up, just your hat bag. Here's my hat. I'll be taking my hat. I am looking at getting a new one in the next couple of weeks, but even if it's just for tryouts, I have my good old faithful champion. And I also have my ear warmers that go in it because I get really bad migraines from the wind. This I bring on my hat bag with me, all of this in here. Super easy to grab and it means if I'm taking anything else I can have a trick in here. So it's like my purse and you'll see some other bits in a second. Next up is the other most important thing that goes in this bag. Riding gloves. I ride with riding gloves at uni because of Covid, it's a condition that we ride under. So I hate riding in gloves but as you will have seen in my IGTV and the previous video for this if a haul got up yet is these gloves are from obviously riding a question and they are fantastic. I don't find them particularly restrictive which is nice. Uh, I haven't ridden in this set yet, I've only ridden in the other set because I've got three pairs but I'm notorious for losing individual gloves. I'm mainly ironically the right glove but I'm right handed so that is always the glove I take off first especially if I'm texting or something. I'm known for it, it's a bit of a nightmare so yeah I picked up three pairs of these and yeah I think they're really cute and these will live in my hat bag. Up next is Possibly the most important winter essential, my yard coat. So this is my Bronte. I ride in this. I wear it on the bus. I wear it to the shops. I wear it walking around town. Yeah, I live in this coat basically. So my Bronte is coming with me. This is my personalised one. Um, it has the logo on the front. That's the trick I find. So yeah, this is 100% an essential for me. Bubbles and paracetamol in because these are the kind of things that... I don't always have in my hat and if I've only taken my hat bag instead of like my rucksack they're things I don't want to get caught without especially not riding so there's also usually a hairnet in here but I'm missing the hairnet for the moment so I need to add it back in but yeah paracetamol because again I get headaches really easily and you know if I come off it's always nice to have paracetamol but, and spare bubbles because I have to take care and I snap bubbles like they are going out of fashion and again this is all in a bright red pouch so I can't really lose it especially my hat bag because in the autumn it can be quite dark when we ride so it's essential to make sure everything is visible. This is the Airwear Outer Outlin, ladies, I think it's called. Um, 2009 edition, standard, like the safety standards, and it's got a zip up front, and basically it's comfy. Um, because of my back, um, I do like to take this with me. I didn't take it last year, but I also didn't leave the yard last year, so that kind of helps. And I am planning on trying to wear it a bit more this year because I'm having more issues with my back than usual. So, yeah, this is as annoying as it is, this is going to be an essential for me this year. Next I was going to show you my boots, but my long boots, not my long boots, my country boots haven't arrived yet and last year's set got thrown because they were four years old. And my short boots are in my mum's car and that's not here. So I also take my short boots, my chaps and my country boots and then I have my hat bag, This, uh, my boot bag, this is my long boot bag that I keep my country boots in and my whip. I do take my own short crop, again purely because I find this one comfortable, uh, I've been riding this one for years, it's slightly bent at this point but you know I enjoy riding with this one. And because it is a riding school we ride with, you can't always guarantee that they have spare props when we're riding because there's four in my lesson, you know, there can be another lesson going on at the same time. And yeah, basically it's just easier for me to know that I always have my crop on me. So I take my short crop. I don't take my long crop because B broke it and um, yeah, she stood on it and it snapped in two. So I need a new long crop. But I am really excited actually to show you my new country boots when they arrive because they're really pretty and I've been desperate for a new pair for a while now. So. And yes, the eagle eyed of you, my boot bag and my hat bag do match. Uh, I do also have the matching rug for the river, but I really like flamingos, what can I say? This is the Shires range, and again, I really recommend having a boot bag and a hat bag, because it just makes storing things at uni so much easier. I don't have to worry about mud getting anywhere with my boots, and I don't have to worry about my hat dropping or being dropped or you know, falling, because I always know where it is, because it's always in its bag at the bottom of my wardrobe, waiting for my next lesson. The next two things are things I take as an athlete because you see I have my shoulder and back problems and obviously my hips so I take my resistance bands this is just one set that I have this is a set of three I like to have resistance bands to do my physio exercises with I do also have the activate your heat bungee that's not here at the moment because again that's in the car but I will do a whole video on how I'm going to use that at uni when I get to uni I figure out how I'm going to use it at uni because I'm not 100% sure yet if I'm going to go out for runs with it and you know put it at different locations or if the door at uni is going to be suitable for it so that's going to be really interesting to see 
Um, I'm trying to get on top of my fitness this year and really, really work on my physio because I'm hoping that that's going to help lower my pain score slightly. So fingers crossed for that. The next thing in my like physio athlete box is my spiky massage balls. I have a full set of these. I've got like five. They're in all different sizes. These are great because I get a lot of muscle pain and I find these are really good for just like up and down across points of tension until the tension goes away, which can really, really help. Uh, they're also really good if you've got someone who can do them for you, especially like on my back because obviously I struggle to reach my back. Um, but yeah, I love these. These are great pain relievers. I have one tiny one, two medium sized ones, one slightly bigger, one large. Um, I got them in two different sets. So yeah, these are great and I really do recommend these if anyone is looking for like the spiky balls or some, like, something to deal with muscle pain in particular. Um, it's so therapeutic. I really recommend final thing in like the fitness category is my foam roller i try and incorporate this into at least one workout a week again this is great for my back because i can't reach my back and i can obviously roll against it and find all these pressure points which is so therapeutic again brightly colored i got my own amazon it came with two of the spiky balls so yeah this was a great purchase up next i want to briefly mention clothing i don't have it all here because i've started packing but this is my gymshark sports bra and this is the most supportive bra I own. I really recommend having something comfortable to ride in because at the end of the day, you're getting warm, you're getting sweaty, and the last thing you want is to be like feel unsupported. So unsupported, sorry. So yeah, I really rate this. Um, I also will be taking thermals, two pairs of riding leggings, some base layers, and my competition gear because obviously we take our competition gear for the either inter house competitions or um, the uni ones with the other uni so that's kind of quite important to me also be packing a outfit suitable for halloween because we do pony games for halloween in costume so i need to make sure i've packed something suitable for that i've got a few ideas around my head this year but that's really really exciting and same at christmas you know christmas jumper i've got one with ponies on it so that'll get packed and my waterproof over leggings i almost forgot i have a set of leggings from pony passion that are waterproof but they've still got the silicon sticker on them like under leg so i'm hoping that's going to stop me slipping out the saddle it's raining because we are not fair weather riders we ride in all weather conditions rain sleet snow you name it you know we try and ride through everything so yeah that's going to be essential for me and of course a baseball cap so that when i take off my riding hat i can cover my hat hair and because we ride in the winter a beanie as well because you never know when you're going to need to cover hat hair in like you know the snow final things are obviously my saddle balm so that I can clean my boots ready for competitions because obviously I want to look spick and span but then also my camera stuff so I've got my external hard drive my camera and you're obviously on my tripod so I can't show you that because we take pictures of each other in our lessons to kind of as a thank you so we get you all get nice pictures because you know we all pitch in so I think I'm going to take this one which is my 40d I might also take my 400d depends on how I'm feeling because they're the two that I'm working with the most at the moment um, obviously normally I'd only take one camera but this year I'm genuinely debating taking both because I'm really enjoying working with both cameras and it's, they're each a little bit different, they each work slightly differently, they both feel different in my hand so yeah that's going to be great and I'm also thinking about taking my GoPro camera, it's not an actual GoPro but it's that kind of action camera because I think that could be quite cool, um, I've not really decided yet with the with regards to the camera equipment I've not quite decided yet so we'll see. If you saw my last video you'll have seen I bought a load of gym clothes because I'm planning on doing more gym work this year, either going to the gym or some more at home workouts so obviously I will be packing that kind of thing and my comfortable trainers. But I think that brings us to the end of this video. If there's anything that you're bringing to uni as an equestrian like competitor or going to an equestrian uni let me know. Obviously I'm not taking the horses this year so that kind of changes what I would need to take with me. But I hope you enjoyed this video I hope some of you found it useful. Let me know down below don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys!